Hi, and welcome to the show. Today I filmed our latest podcast, which was about cars, and particularly about Fords. So, make yourself a cup of tea, sit back, click the play button, and hopefully you enjoy the film. The Alley Cat knows where it's at. And welcome to Alley Cat's podcast, and here we got Graham, who's a Ford enthusiast. I am. I do rather like my Fords, although enthusiast is probably a bit of a strong word. The strong word. <laughs> We've been doing a, a bit of a photo shoot, photo shoot this morning with your Ford Puma here behind us. Yep. And uh, we've had a great time. We have. It's been lovely. And Got it's me. been lovely and sunny. And now, look. Yes. It was it's, nice this morning. It's gone sea fog, it I is. think it's called. Sea fog, sea mist. <laughs> so we, we, we could see a lot of it. So I thought it was the steam coming out of the kettle that's taken about four hours to boil. Let's get on with the podcast, which is um, about Ford. So what was your first car? Well, my first uh, car was a Ford. It was a, a Ford Capri 2-litre GT XLR with the uh, famous V4 engine. Ah, oh, love them, love them. Black with uh, Bordello red interior. Velour. Red interior? V velour. A velour. Velour. A velour. And uh, it had, uh, rather unusually, for a 1972 car, um, inertia real seat belts. Did it? It did, yes. That was a bit unusual. That was a bit before the time. It was. But the XLR was the top of the range. It had every extra. And I loved that car. Oh, was it American advert? Steve McQueen was in the Ford Puma advert. Steve McQueen was in the... Uh, they digitally uh, placed... Enhanced. Yeah, they did, digitally placed him into... Uh, Basically, it was the scene from Bullet where uh, he drives the Mustang uh, around Must uh, around uh, San Francisco. All oh, right, around um, yeah. And uh, Ford used that idea with the same music um, and digitally put Steve McQueen out of the Mustang and into the Puma. In the Puma, which at the time was groundbreaking. Well, for well it would be groundbreaking, wouldn't it? it like a really expensive. Actual advert, it but was. groundbreaking they, at the same time. They, they shipped a couple of Pumas out from uh, from Germany to San Francisco because uh, this car never sold in America. Yeah. Um, and if you go on YouTube, you can see the uh, you can see the advert, or if you look down below somewhere, I'm sure someone will put a link yeah. um, to the uh, advert if you want to have a look at it. But uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> good, interesting. Good, well, it's a good driver like Steve McQueen likes the Puma. He did. He parked it next to his, his bike that was in the greatest game. Great in the escape. garage, right at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> but Ford, if, if nothing else, Ford may make what some people say mediocre cars. Uh, they really are good at selling cars. Yeah, they're really good at selling um, cars. And their advertising is, is I think, you know, quite yeah. amazing compared to some of the rubbish you get on, on TV now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
website. What's that one? The, on, on Facebook, there's a, a, a couple of Puma groups. Um, the, you know, people on there are really helpful for finding parts. And, oh, right. Um, yeah. So there's a little community. Yeah. Oh, um, you're full donors or Puma owners? Just, just, it's a Puma group. And yeah. um, they're just really lovely people. Um, really helpful. Uh, if you're short of something, I mean, one of the guys broke down. Somebody came out with a part, fixed it for him, and didn't even charge it. Oh, right. That, that's, so that's a nice group of people. It's a really nice yeah. community. Yeah. Um, yeah, I found some two lovely guys that uh, got a little uh, business that just do pumas. Yeah. Um, and they do all the work on the car. And I won't let anyone else touch it now. I'll, I'll, I'll wait, queue up. Thank you, wait and queue. Wait and queue. And, uh, you know, wait months and months and months to <laughs> my car. But... They're, they're, they, they're just lovely guys, and uh, and they know they're viewers. There used to be a, a, a lot of cars that used to come down for whatever reason, and uh, I can't remember when when was cruise nights. Dave, do you remember? Was it the first Saturday was, uh, of the month? First or Saturday of the month, I second think. Second Saturday of the month. Yeah. Anyway, they used to get a lot of, a lot of classic cars. And, um, yeah, people used to come down, which was always very good. Maybe that's where I got my interest in cars. Well, I got my interest in cars from uh, from my father, for basically being a car salesman, then a scrap man. Yeah. Then uh, we went banger racing a lot. We went oh. stock car racing. So you, you, all of the the, the, the Cortinas and the Granadas that are now no longer on the road the, you no, banged them I'm telling, them, telling you about my dad oh uh, okay his A60s <laughs> and MG A60s and oh, all those the, 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 yeah all right. the old cars so okay well that, you know but yeah banger racing has been the scourge of the classic car yeah Mark III Zodiacs well they, they were a tank and a half weren't they Next year, I want to do uh, Barcelona again if they do the Formula One test. Yeah, you got some nice photos down there last year, didn't you? Yeah, I got some good photos, and I might be sort of a bit more involved yeah. this time. Um, but at the moment, we're just ticking along and just seeing what happens. There's always something will come up, I'm sure. Exactly. We're not out of lockdown yet, but we'll see. Maybe we'll June see. the 21st or whenever. July, something like that. So yeah, we'd be, be nice uh, to, uh, rocking uh, and rolling. I would like to get into a pub, normal. Normal pub. Normal pub, where you haven't what, got to wear what? a mask or... And, and what, go to the bar? And go to the bar and order and, a and, drink. And order a drink. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Just like the old days. Just like the old days. <laughs> <laughs> right. And on that note, we're going to finish off here, because we're getting very cold. Yeah, it's getting very nippy. And it's the a, tea's finished. A, it's definitely a... It's definitely yeah. something coming in. There's a wind and it's coming in. Misty and sea and it's just uh, yeah, it's, it's yes. really strange weather. The sun's out, but it is very is misty. It. So, uh, so we'll say goodbye from uh, from the car park. Yes. And the beach huts and the crows. And in the next podcast, uh, should be uh, should be in a couple of weeks' time. You never know. And we'll see you. We talk to you then. Yes, indeed. Goodbye for now. Ta-ta.